What kind of lesson is this to see PJ and Leslie, you know, sitting out for the other guys? I mean, what kind of lesson do you build off of this? Well, I hope it doesn't have to be that kind of lesson, you know, but I think everybody feels for them. I mean, they've been great teammates through all this. I'm honestly extremely frustrated, but I mean, I, I know a lot of us are. It's tough, you know, it just, it'd just be nice to know so, you know, we can move on, but, you know, it's not in my power, so <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. I think we did some good things. I think it was good for Nate, and I think Nate's uh, uh, going to get even better. He's only been on campus for a few months or whatever, but, uh, you know, me and him are already really good friends off the court, which obviously helps on the court. You know, we get along well. There's no... There's no feelings between us or anything like that. So uh, I get along great with him, try to help him out as much as uh, I can, uh, you know, since I'm so old. <laughs> we're, on the, we're not even that much <laughs> different apart in age. But, uh, yeah, we get along great, and he's really easy to, to share the court with just because of how he plays. He's so unselfish, and he's a, such a team-first guy. So uh, I'm going to really enjoy playing with him for the next few years. Joel and Kennedy do so many different things well. You know, Kennedy has great hands, whereas Joel's hands are still getting better. Uh, Joel runs the floor better, or Kennedy's still getting better in that category. But, uh, you know, they're both, they complement each other well. You know, they're both getting a lot better at scoring inside. You know, whichever one's in there, they're both going to play about the same minutes uh, as we saw last game anyway. So, um, you know, whoever's having the better game will probably end up getting more than, more close to starters' minutes. Last game, if you add Joel and Desmond and uh, uh, Kennedy's uh, stats together, it's, it's a pretty good stat line. So I need all of them to continue you know, contributing like that. As he gets more minutes and gets more comfortable, I think we're going to see that, uh, you know, that type of production consistently just because he does really do that every day in practice. And he's starting to he's starting to look like a lot more of an offensive weapon than he has been, you know, for us last year. I love all three of our, our incoming guys. Theo is great. You know, he brings so much versatility from the wing spot. You know, he can he can handle the ball like a point guard. He can rebound like a big guy. And, you know, he just he's getting better as a jump shooter, and he just has a great feel for the game. He's really a basketball player. He makes instinctive plays. 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, athlete, uh, but he knows how to play. I mean, he really does. Uh, Coach Smith was, you've heard me say this before, he's the best there ever was, in my opinion, on the basketball court, and he was far better off the court. I ask myself all the time, what would Coach Smith do right now? Uh, would Coach Smith be proud of the way I've handled some things? I'll never be as good as, as he was. I don't think anybody ever will be. But uh, I have tried to, uh, from the coaching part on the court, but even more importantly off the court, to try to do the things uh, the, with the youngsters and the loyalty that I have to them, try to do those kind of things that he would be proud of.